All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select several ranges of data in this worksheet and I'm going to assign names to each of them. This is going to help me locate these ranges. It'll help me go ahead and select them. And it's also going to help me to refer to these ranges when writing out formulas. It's pretty easy to do it. Let's go ahead and let's start. First thing I'm going to do is select my first range, it's this first table here, and I will go right to the formulas tab on my ribbon and you will see right here it says define name well that's pretty straightforward I'm gonna go ahead and click that and you see it gives me this box and the first thing it asks me is let's give it a new name alright I wanna go ahead and this is information relating to this store so I'm gonna name it after that store I'm gonna just simply call this range 60159 uh, you'll see that it is referring to payroll, which is the name of the worksheet, and it has the range A4 through F21. Looks good. I will hit OK, and uh-oh, that's not good. It gave me this error box. Well, don't panic. The reason that this name is not valid is because it does not begin with a letter or an underscore. All of our ranges have to start with a letter or, like it says, an underscore. It also cannot contain a space or other invalid characters um, special characters things like a number sign um, asterisks stuff like that it won't let you do that so let's rename this and because I want to go ahead and keep this name short it's just easier later on if I have to type it out in a formula or something so I'm going to start with an underscore and simply go 60159. Look at that. There we go. Now, let's go ahead. Let's do another one. We'll select this range. And we will go to our name manager here. And you'll see this gives us a list. This is going to be a list of all the named ranges in this workbook. Well, here's the first one we created. Let's go ahead and create a new one. This one will be, in keeping with our theme, we'll start underscore 60540. Great, looks good. All right, let's go ahead, let's close that. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and name this range. Let me select it here. But instead of going to our name manager or define name, what we're going to do is go to our name box here. Now, in your name box, remember that we can type in the address of any cell, and when I click enter, it takes me right to it. Well, I can also use that to name ranges. Let me select this range again and simply type in the name that I want to assign to that name, range 60613 make sure I hit my enter so that it'll stick there we go and if I go to my name manager you'll see it's there all right I'm gonna go ahead and create a couple more of these and I'll be right back Okay, I've gone ahead and let me open up my name manager. You'll see I've named six different ranges all together. And they're all here nice in a list. It's great. I can simply select one. It'll give me the range. Of course, it's here. I can edit it if I choose to. I can change the reference. I can change the name. I can add comments. But I'm happy with these. I can delete one. No, I don't really want to delete it. I want to keep it there. But what I really want to show you, and this is a real great feature here, is from the name box. I'm going to go ahead and select that drop down, and you see that? It gives me the list of all of the ranges in my workbook. And simply by selecting one, it'll take me right there and highlight that range. And remember, I can also use the name of a range in a formula if I need to refer to it in that formula. Thanks for watching. For more great Microsoft Office tutorials, subscribe to TrainSignal's YouTube channel, TrainSignal Office. 
or you can visit www.trainsignal.com for more information regarding our complete Microsoft Office training library.